Everyone, welcome to the show. So Trump world is freaking out about Mark Meadows, according to a recent Rolling Stone article. According to a source who spoke with the news outlet, Trump directed some of his attorneys and advisors to go on a, quote, fact-finding mission earlier this year. He wanted them to find out what Meadows was up to. That was a direct quote. What's he up to? And he did this because Trump and others started to get worried because Meadows and his attorney cut off all communication with them months ago. So according to this source, they went out searching. They came up empty handed, though, and they could only provide him with speculation and rumors that they were hearing. And then after Meadows attorney issued that statement, you guys have probably all heard saying, oh, my client is telling the truth when obligated to do so. Apparently, Trump world started using a rat emoji in their text messages in place of Meadows name. Rolling Stone said they actually saw a screenshot of one of these text messages. And Trump land is pissed about Meadows book. The book Meadows thought was going to be widely received, you know, with praise. He said that uh, Donald Trump would love it. I mean, he just was so excited about this memoir that he put out because it's like a love letter to Trump. But it ended up providing the special counsel with very damning evidence against Trump, which in part led to his recent indictment in the classified documents case, right? That's where this infamous recording came from. So this was all around the end of 2021. Well, by the summer of 2022, Meadows and his people started to become paranoid about what Trump was planning. Rolling Stone spoke with someone who knows both of them, both Trump and Meadows, and this person said that Meadows and people around him started to believe that Meadows was going to be set up to take the fall. He was going to be the fall guy for January 6th. So we'll see where this all ends, but it's pretty clear Meadows' only way out is to cooperate against Trump. And as I shared with you guys recently, some people believe that has already been taking place, that, that they've already secured a cooperation deal. Now, in the meantime, as you all know, Trump is doing a great job of destroying his own defense. Um, it, he did that Fox News interview with Brett Baer, who surprisingly did a good job. He, he pretty much held Trump's feet to the fire. Well, according to Rolling Stone, again, Trump thought he did a great job in that interview, which is just absolutely lol <laughs> it's just laughable um sources told the news outlet that some of trump's current and former attorneys were absolutely horrified by that interview but trump is telling people oh yeah i think i came off strong i think i look good <laughs> so they also confirmed that trump isn't clearing his media appearances with his legal team first that's a problem. Um, but here's the thing. Trump and his attorneys are playing to two very different audiences, right? I mean, his legal team, of course, I mean, obviously they want to keep him quiet because they don't want to give any more ammunition to the prosecutor. Trump, on the other hand, is playing to a potential jury pool. He knows his supporters need only a vague explanation in order to excuse all of his illegal actions. That has been proven time and time again. We saw this recently. Jordan Sheridan of the Status Q show, if you guys aren't subscribed, if you guys don't watch it, I highly recommend it. He went out, he interviewed Trump supporters at a Trump protest, not against Trump, for Trump. This was right after Trump's indictment, and it, it's mind-boggling. Right. I mean, the, the videos are so revealing to sum it up the MAGA crowd, at least the people who are going out and protesting on Trump's behalf, they have no clue why he was indicted. I mean, they have a vague understanding, um, but they don't care. They don't care to look at the actual document. They refuse to read the indictment. They don't want to try to understand what he did wrong or how much evidence there is against him. They don't care. I mean, I've shared this with you guys before. I had an experience with a Trump supporter who literally physically like ran away from me practically in a closed room 
because she refused to watch a video that about that Trump was in to see him laughing about shooting migrants. They don't want to know, you know, but then they get upset if you call it a cult. And Trump knows this. He knows that he has the most uninformed, blindly loyal followers on the planet. And he's counting on that. He's counting on the fact that there will be at least one MAGA supporter on that jury. And that's all he needs, right? So regardless of the overwhelming evidence, they're going to be basically like little kids. They're going to hold their hands over their ears and be like, la, 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 la. I don't care. I don't want to know. I, I don't care what you have to say. I, I can't hear you. La, la, la. <laughs> That's all he needs. Just one juror to, to totally blow up the trial and end it in a hung jury. So that's who he's playing to that's his goal that's what he's out doing right now so he doesn't care he could hand which he basically has he could hand jack smith his entire confession on a silver platter like i said he basically has already and it's not going to matter if one single juror is not an honest actor and they decide that they don't want to see their Fuhrer go to prison, you know? So let's hope that Jack Smith has a few other tricks up his sleeve. Let's hope that he has a few other indictments coming in different venues. I'm not going to disparage the people of Florida, right? There's a lot of good people in Florida. Um, believe it or not, there are. <laughs> but And let's hope that you get 12 honest people on that jury and people who can look beyond their own feelings, their own beliefs, and look at the evidence and give an honest assessment and, and, and judge him accordingly. But again, it only takes one. So I will let you guys know when I hear more. Thank you so much for watching and listening. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Trying to hit that 20,000 by the end of this week, by the end of this month. Um, that was my goal. If you guys can help out, make that happen. Tell your friends and family to subscribe. Really appreciate it. Um, if you can donate, that is also a huge help to keep the show going. Greatly appreciate it all. Love you all. Take care and I'll talk with you soon.